I'm in Mountain View, California today at the Computer History Museum, and this is Dag Spicer. And what is your job title? I'm a senior curator, so I look after the collection and try to build it, um, get more objects and write about them and do interviews like this one. A lot of people come to this area right here and, and see their first computer, for example. It could be a Commodore 64 or IBM PC or whatever. Do you have a personal interest in finding pieces and finding computers and adding to the collection? We do, actually. We're always we're collecting against a list of items that we've, kind of a roadmap we've made of significant computers to acquire. And uh, that's what we work against. So it's very challenging. They, basically, the farther back in time you go, the more difficult it is. I wanted to see the first example of a, a computer, in a sense, or what you guys have as your display is the first computer. One of the key features about this machine which behind me, which is called Johnny Ack, named after John von Neumann, a famous mathematician, is that it stored its own program inside its own memory. Now this sounds really routine now, we, every computer in the world does that now, but back then it was very different. Computers used to be programmed by using plug boards. It has a little patch panel where you'd have a whole bunch of wires that you would plug in, set up your problem, and then run the problem. And unfortunately, the setting up the plug board could take days. Um, whereas this way you could change your program on the fly. So I'm curious, how much information could it actually store? Well this had a 4K um, memory, so 4,000 bytes of memory. <laughs> so let's say, I'm trying to think of what a 4K file would equate to, like a text file maybe? It's about four pages of text. This is the first hard drive. Yep, the world's first hard drive. This is called the RAMAC, which stood for Random Access Method of Accounting and Control. It was meant to uh, replace a huge amount of punch cards with a small, relatively small, uh, electronic system. And it was done by IBM? Yes, IBM, 1956. This whole computer, it looks like it should be in a movie, like a James Bond movie. Right, well this is part of the SAGE uh, military air defense system that was invented in the 1950s, kind of a Star Wars uh, system. It was meant to provide a shield over the continental United States and track incoming Soviet bombers who were supposed to launch uh, or drop atomic bombs on the, on the U.S. What you're looking at here is actually a thing called the Weapons Director Console, and this was part of SAGE. So on the screen here, you would see the uh, radar image of your sector, and it would have little uh, characters telling you what each one was, so United Airlines Flight 134 and so on. That was never done before, and in fact, the roots of air traffic control uh, can be found in SAGE. Well, I have to say this is one of my favorite artifacts. It's a German Enigma machine. Enigma was a way of encrypting military communications and then transmitting them over Morse code. And uh, this was an extremely closely guarded secret in World War II. The Germans um, uh, went to great lengths to make sure that this didn't fall into enemy hands. What you see here is Google's first server. So they uh, made a bunch of these, about 15 or 20, and they made them out of boards that you can see are actually just sitting on a piece of cork. So these were really thrown together really fast, just as a quick way to get the business up and running. And um, um, it was so fragile that when some of, them, some of the PCs in here, this is just a bunch of PCs, uh, failed, they wouldn't try to fix them because they were afraid they'd break, and break something else. So it was that kind of delicate. So this was uh, 1999, so 10 years ago. So they've gone from this in 10 years to probably the largest data centers in the world. And uh, hopefully I'll come back for the uh, new construction when you guys are done with your new museum in about a year or so. That would be terrific. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you.